Radio check. Loud and clear. My name is Terry Scheer. Neil Stoning. Barnaby Delars. Franco Notti. And I'm a cycler. I'm a cycler. A cycler. I'm a cycler for Alinghi. Red Bull Racing. Can you feel the flow? Everything cell related is powered by human power. So that's why we need cyclers to basically uh, push oil into pumps to make the cells move. The game is a combination of having strong cyclers who can produce a lot of power throughout the whole race. And it's our job to do the most efficient extraction and delivery of that power throughout the boat system. So we have to make sure we harness as much energy as possible from the guys in the most efficient way and then also deliver it to all of the hydraulic actuators, to all of the, the power consumers around the boat in the most efficient way. So the trimmers, the driving group, can have as much power as possible to play with and adjust the boat and trim the sails and, and make the boat go fast. I used to be a rower. I spent over 10 years in the Swiss team, racing at two Olympics, many world championships, a few medals uh, here and there. And then I finished my career with the win in the boat race, the race between the University of Oxford and Cambridge. I was in Oxford and then came straight to here. So I've been in sports since I was 16. I come from middle distance running. I've been running on national level. I, I think I had a good potential to make uh, an Olympic Games if I could have trained uh, consistent, but I was injured a lot. So I was looking for an alternative. Started cycling and then quite uh, quickly ended here. I come from cycling, so my background is uh, road and track cycling. I used to cycle for, let's say, from my 15 years old to my uh, 30th birthday and uh, had the chance to switch to uh, sailing, but before everything I was a, I was a cycler, a, a cyclist and now a cycler. It's like a hamster, but compared to the hamster in the hamster rat, we really hope to move forward and fast. Basically it's, um, you know, it's a big pedalo. But, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We, we basically we're in the boat on some sorts of bikes and the bikes are there to generate uh, hydraulic pressure, hydraulic energy, and all this energy goes into uh, trimming the sails. When you do a maneuver, you really have to power hard and, and that's where you can gain time and there, that's where there needs to be a lot of easing and trimming and uh, mass rotation, so it's then when you have to push hard. The race is going to be over 25 minutes and even if there's some ups and downs, some sprints, it's repeated sprints with uh, very little breaks in between, so it's not like typical sprinting. Definitely, we most 90% of our training is, is uh, endurance. We would go from like, like normal, typical physical or endurance training, so we would do, go for long rides, uh, four to six hours or we would go for uh, some tempo, some threshold, some VO2 max training um, like you would do in any endurance sport. Is that alright? This is my head too shiny. I'm from team sport background, rugby and, and rugby league, so um, totally different but there's a lot of similarities um, in, in rugby and rugby league. You've got to develop um, very fit, explosive, um, hybrid athletes if you like. Well you've got to have an interchangeable group really. The races are going to be um, coming thick and fast. Um, there's going to be days where we're doing multi, multi races with a minimal turnaround. So we've got to be able to exchange um, athletes. So you've got to be um, able to like have the next person lined up, ready to go. They're definitely competitors first and foremost and we're trying to meld those competitors uh, into, a, into a team environment. Um, you know, the, the first and foremost, that, that's why they are where they are, because they're ultra competitive um, and they're, they're ready to do whatever it takes to, to get to the top and, and get a seat. For sure, it's really something really special. It's the uh, Formula One of, of sailing, let's say, but uh, it's nothing new. Huh? Uh, the grinder on boat have always been there and uh, the sailing as, as the Amerikar Cup is, as a match racing competition, has been there for, for many years. The new difference or the new thing is the foiling uh, side of the competition. 
but uh, for my helmsmen and flight controller teammates, for them it's quite uh, usual. They've been falling since uh, many years, so yeah, things uh, are evolving fast in this world, but uh, it's still uh, traditional racing for me. I've been a sailor since I was a little kid, so I started when I was six years old. And I've been yeah, sailing from the Optimist to the Laser to the Fin before now joining Alinghi Red Bull Racing. Um, and I've been on the Olympic circuit for the past uh, six years. I've done like some sailing courses over the, the summer when I was a kid. I would do like one or two weeks every, every summer for, for a few years, but that was, well, <laughs> 15, 20 years ago now. So I don't have many technical skills left. Some come from a sailing background and some uh, not at all, but uh, the, the group is, uh, every single person is really clever and understand the game really quickly. So we try to uh, help them to understand uh, the, our need in the point of uh, which maneuver we, we need just to have a bit of more awareness on uh, the difficulty of our job to, to trim uh, and stabilize the boat. But even if they're not coming from sailing, uh, they're really strong, they're clever people and they bring uh, a uh, philosophy in the, to the sport as well. One part of physical preparation is also some mental freshness because when you train physically you also drain the mental side of your body. So going somewhere new, somewhere different is kind of like a breath of fresh air. The APC is part of uh, you know, a few camps or weeks we have uh, spent away. It's a special sport because we don't have any racing for two or three years, which is very different to the sports we're used to, especially rowing, where I come from. So now it's, I think it's important to, to change it up. Uh, we've, we've done a few cycling camps and also, of course, a few weeks at the APC. And uh, some of it we, has been very useful for testing. Uh, they have a, a good team there that can, and all the, the equipment that we need to, to do the testing, whether it's uh, you know, oxygen uh, exchange, gas exchange, or um, strength uh, testing, talk with the physios. If anyone needs support in nutrition, uh, psychology, stuff like that, they, they have everyone uh, you need there. You know what, my day didn't even start because <laughs> I, I haven't eaten yet. So I'm basically dying before leaving. These guys will be burning upwards of, of, of four or five thousand calories a, a day, um, you know, uh, and that's a critical thing for us that we we need to make sure we put that back into them and, and, and get our processes right for recovery and, 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 and support for these guys in not only from a physical standpoint but from nutrition, sleep, recovery, all those all those topics we we're, we're trying to push push hard as well for these guys. The guys are training a lot. Uh, they're really putting a big effort into the training and, uh, and the evolution in performance is it, massive. And uh, the dedication uh, into it is, uh, is pr pretty impressive. I really respect what the, the, the work, the, the sacrifice, um, the effort that they've put in. Um, it's, it can't be, and unless you've been through it with them, you can't put that into, wor into, into words really. It's, it's, it's impressive, I'm excited, and I think they should be excited too. They've, they've, they've got a massive opportunity here to, to go out and show people what this new world of, of, of sailing looks like and, and, and to have the ability to show people on the grand scale of the America's Cup is going to be really exciting. I think the Red Bull Racing now is a huge uh, Swiss identity. Everyone on board is Swiss, so for me that's the really interesting part of this project. We compete for a country as well, so I'm Swiss, so I'm ready to fight for, for my country and my team. I would say it's a big combination between like pride and also uh, some pressure, um, because obviously it's the highest scene in sailing and we want to do well uh, and we want to make uh, the country proud. When you start as a young athlete, you always want to compete with the best at the highest level. So coming from the Olympics, I'm really happy to compete in such a historical event. The America's Cup is one of the oldest ongoing uh, trophy you can win. And that's for me the ultimate goal. We don't want to just think we can win it. We want to just go out and win it. I think it's as simple as that. We're preparing guys here to, to step on that start line and, and know that they can, can win the thing, not, not want to know that they can. I think that's really important.